Hey YouTube, this is another video about Skyrim. Uh, well, I guess the Elder Scrolls. Uh, so I haven't uploaded in a few days, and I don't really have time to make a gameplay recording. Uh, because I'm going on vacation soon, so I prefer to do this. Another ideas and suggestions for the Elder Scrolls, uh, which would be a six game. Now my last video wasn't very good, and this one probably isn't going to be the best either. But I'm going to speak about my ideas off my head for a good 6 Elder Scrolls game. So as we know in Skyrim, let's begin with the storyline. So as we know with Skyrim, there was a huge battle between uh, Stormcloaks and the Imperials. And that was caused by the Aldmeri Dominion. I think what should happen in the 6 Elder Scrolls is that the Aldmeri Dominion destroys the Empire and the Stormcloaks after their battle at one point and uh then there's a small rebellion i guess they could be the blades why the fuck not bring keep them going and they're the rebellion to defeat the Aldmeri dominion tactically so that would be one way to go uh another idea which would be uh map which as we, uh tamir tamriel has already been settled from the beginning because it's skyrim elsewhere cyrodiil and all that all those places i can't name them all offhand um and they're already all discovered so we can't make a new area in a new game uh so i figure why not make it a open world game uh you can take certain carriages i guess uh because so they brought you to different uh strongholds in skyrim why not have some that bring you to even other countries or I guess other sections of Tamriel. So say you're in Morrowind, you can be like, all right, I like to go to Skyrim. So bam, you're in Skyrim, so you do a quest there. And it'd be a huge open world game. So you can also walk there, but that would be rather long. Um, in weapons, I think they should keep the crossbows, um, which because it's a pretty good weapon. I think they should add more perks for that weapon. And uh, also add more types. Now, a huge flaw was that we had a crossbow, which technically was a steel crossbow. And then we had the dwarven crossbow, which didn't really do much. Uh, it had a better attack and stuff, but I'm sure a lot of people would have liked seeing an ebony uh, crossbow. And uh, stuff, like, uh, stuff like that. Uh, in armor, I think they should keep everything the way it is. Just do some texture upgrades, but not go too far. Like they did with the Diedrich armor in Oblivion. But kind of keep it, you know, nice, simple, but good looking like they did in the Skyrim. Also keeping the good realistic looks. Now in NPCs, I think that you should be able to kill anybody uh, that is not a part of the storyline quest or other important quests. Uh, if it's a small quest, it doesn't really get you anything from a Diedrich god or whatever. You can be able to kill them. Because sometimes they're in your way and it gets... Uh, very annoying uh, trying to kill that person but then they just keep coming back and you have more people to deal with I'm pointing directly at the generals at uh, Imperial or Stormcloak camps because you can kill them even though they weren't important to your storyline anymore because obviously if you're probably killing them uh, you're an Imperial or you're a Stormcloak or you're just someone running around murdering everyone because you're a fucking serial killer. Um, another thing about that would also be the fact that lieutenants, if you did do that side of the quest, you always had the same lieutenant. So it didn't really change anything. Um, in gameplay, I think that keeping uh, castle warfare and wars in there, because that I had a lot of fun with. Uh, if you haven't played Skyrim, there's a lot of uh, battles where you go take you take a tower, you take a building, uh, a campsite, you take out certain areas and retrieve certain items and such, and it made that it made it give it a realistic feeling and a fun feeling, which I really enjoyed about that. Um, I played those quests over and over, specifically for fighting in uh, fighting the kingdoms. Um, I think as well another option to uh, storyline, which I forgot to mention, would be that you can take the side of the Aldmeri and defeat 
the rebellion. Um, but I think it'd be more fun being the rebellion personally. And uh, finally, I think um, NPCs need a little bit of an improved AI, and also they should stop talking to you every time you walk by because it's always the same lines. So it gets quite annoying uh, hearing the same thing, and it kind of brings the game kind of boring. I actually installed the mod where an NPC won't just stop you and be like, Oh, I used to be an adventurer like you until I took a sword through the chest. And, well, of course, the arrow to the knee, but I didn't want, you know, that one's overheard. Um, so it got really annoying. I got to the point where I downloaded the mod. Thank God I had PC because it was Xbox. I probably would have kind of stopped playing for a bit. Um, another thing is you should keep assholes out of the game. And when I say assholes, I'm pointing directly at Nazim. He got kind of got mad at me. Um, also, another thing with NPCs is give them a point unless they're just a regular villager. Because with Mike, the liar, uh, I got kind of confused at what he did. Because you can't kill him. I haven't found a quest that did anything with him. And he's just there. And he says stupid shit. And, you know, doesn't make much sense. And if anyone knows what he, what Mike the liar does, uh, please leave a comment in the description. I'd love to figure it out because I'm kind of lost at that point. Um, I'm trying to think of other things to say because I didn't really write a script for this one. Uh, other things could be small improvements, of course. There were bugs when if you went up a mountainside, you'd sink in. Um, horses would climb up uh, the side of a mountain with much ease and you kind of sink into the rock or there'd be a point where you like fall into the rock and then you're stuck there you have to load the last save which if you're like me you don't really save a lot and then you're stuck doing another whole quest over and it gets rather annoying and you know to the point where for that day you don't really feel like playing the game which of course is not really the uh the businesses problem because that's your choice to stop playing but a business should really care about its customers i'm not saying bethesda don't i i'm really satisfied to buy bethesda uh, so you know just saying just throwing that out there other things that could be improved uh perks they could have had a bit more to them um weapons the textures were great they were pretty basic, and then they got kind of extremist, which I guess was kind of cool, but it was kind of overdone, because after you hit Elven, it, uh, I mean Dwarven or Elven, and then you hit, well, Glass was really nice. Glass I really liked, because it had that feel to it, where it, like that's probably what it would look like, but then you had Ebony, which kind of looked like someone gave up, you know? Like, I'm talking about weapons, it's not armor. Like, they just gave up. They were halfway and they gave up. That's what they kind of looked like to me. Then there was Diedrich, which... I guess it's supposed to look kind of gory. Because it is... Uh, I guess you could say an evil race. The Dramora, they're bad, I guess you could say. Um, and then... Uh, for those of you who got the Dongar DLC, the bone weapons, they looked pretty nice. I like the bone weapons. They were well done. Um, I think there should be more NPC hostiles, I guess. There should be more than just bandits and thieves into the NPC side. Um, you know, there's been a lot... Well, of course, if you do something, you can get attacked by an assassin too, or uh, hired thugs. But there should be a bit more to it. I don't exactly know what, but I feel like it's kind of lacking something in that area. Also, you have the monsters and animals creatures that kind of get old because you see them too much so they should add m a bit more to them and they should all have their distinct areas i've seen that you know, there's a saber cat and there's a snowy saber cat they're in their own areas but they could have had a bit more around that which would have been very awesome uh finally ah oh, man um uh there should just be more animals and things in general and uh yeah like that'd be that much more fun and cool to play but they shouldn't be out there 
they shouldn't monitors or whatever started out of dub everywhere. You know, that'd be a little out there like they did in Oblivion where you're just like, okay, the fuck? Um, yeah, and keep the textures nice like you did this time. Like, not overdone, not underdone. Uh, keep it good. It. I'm really satisfied with Skyrim. Uh, if you guys can one-up that, that would be just insane in my mind. So, all I'm asking of you guys is if you liked my video, like it, subscribe, and also go like my Facebook and follow me on Twitter. I have videos not only like this, but I have gameplays almost all the time. So if you like me, be sure to do that. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Hey, guys. Uh, I actually forgot to mention in that bards. Those, they sucked. Come on. Get good singers, I guess you could say. Uh, I seen the Maluka videos where she's amazing. She would have been a really good bard in the Skyrim bard games. Um, I like bards. They kind of add that realistic feature to it, and it kind of kept the game good. Like you know, I wouldn't really use them, but I guess you could. Uh, another thing which would be adding a realism to it, which could be hunger and thirst. Now I guess hunger and thirst can be into one, and you only have to eat at certain points. But it'd be kind of cool to actually give food a complete point. Not just like small healing, but like a point where you need to eat. So you can pack food with you, you can stop at a bar, and it won't be like, numb, you're done. It'd be like you're sitting there and you're eating. Like, like you see NPCs do, except not as long, and that's not what you do forever. Anyways, guys, like I said and before, I had to add this other audio clip. Because I didn't think of this, uh, but I find that you know pretty cool. Uh, these ideas if you guys like him leave a like if you guys like me subscribe go like my Facebook follow me on Twitter peace out guys